Hello and welcome to One Toy Bike Channel. Today we're going to be talking about pass sensors or better known as pedal assisted cadence sensors. Recently e-bikes are becoming very popular with a wider audience of people because of their obvious benefits in everyday use, transportation or doing sports. At first these bikes were very expensive and bought only by real enthusiasts. So people who are prepared to spend a lot of money on their bicycles and, and uh, bicycle components. But now as a bike industry expert I see that with these bikes gaining popularity a need is shown to make entry level e-bikes for average buyer who is looking to benefit from the assistance of 250 watt motor on his bike. bike. Thus e-bikes with front and rear motor uh, as an economic solution came to be very popular. And one really important thing uh, with these bikes is that in order to make them certified pedelex they have to be mounted with pass sensors. The purpose of these sensors is to read the direction of uh, BB spindle movement or to explain it in a more simple way if you are turning the pedals to start riding the bicycle. If you start turning the pedal to propel you forward then it gives the signals uh, to the e-bike's controller which starts the motor to assist you. In other case if you stop pedaling or start turning the pedals in reverse it will send the signal to the controller to cut the power to the motor thus allowing you to stop or slow down. There are two main types of these sensors on the market now. Ones that are mounted on the right side under the bottom bracket cup and the second version which is mounted on the left side and which is pressed into the left cup. There are some versions of, on the market now that are pressed into, into the right cup as well. So, uh, because, because these sensors shapes and sizes haven't been uh, standardized yet, they come in a big variety of different models and systems. So in trying to develop this kind of e-bike or to service one, one must be very careful about this part of the bicycle. So what do we have to be careful about when dealing with pass sensors? First, you must think if it is the left hand or right hand side sensor. In case you get this wrong, the sensor will read the direction of the rotation in opposite way, leaving you turning the pedals uh, backwards to start the motor assistance. So very important point to look after. Secondly, you must think about the clearance between the cups and the cranks. So uh, sensors that are pressed in the cups range to be from 5 to 8 millimeters thick and can often collide with the cranks. If this happens, the sensor uh, won't work or will be damaged by the pressure of the crank when it is being mounted on the spindle. To avoid this, you must be careful about the spindle length of your bottom bracket both on the right hand side to accommodate the chain line and on the left hand side to accommodate the sensor. Third, in case of sensors that are pressed in the cups as well, you have to check the compatibility of the cups and the sensor, uh, as well with the diameter of the spindle. Uh, there are some sensors with parameters that are not standard in cup width, so you can't press them in the cups, thus they are not fixed and unusable. And finally, fourth, one has to think about the electronics part and check the cable length and plug compatibility with the controller. So in conclusion, a really tricky part to which you must pay attention and think about the issues mentioned before starting any work. Thank you for watching and be sure to follow more about this topic and others here on 128 Bike.